Hello, my name is Diego Correa of Diego Correa Interior Design. Welcome to my weekly video. Today we are here from Liné Rosé on Commercial Road. And the reason why I choose this beautiful space is because it uh, allows you to see different rooms where probably you are going to feel that is what you want for your home. Not just because the atmosphere that they show, like this one where we are at, but as well because the pieces that create that atmosphere. But that is the second step when you are aiming to create a beautiful home. The first one is finding the right property. And that is why I invited Matthew Turner, a property finder with 16 years of experience, helping his clients to find properties that matches that match their brief and of course within budget. Uh, so Matthew, thank you very much for being here, for sharing Good your idea. time with us. Thank you. Uh, no, please, thank you very much. Um, so uh, the first question that I would like to to ask is what would you say is the most uh, important word of advice for a, for a person, an individual that is looking for his or her property? Yeah, um, it's very important to be uh, to be prepared and have, before you actually start looking. Um, a lot of people find that property quicker than they uh, actually anticipate and they're not prepared. They haven't got the, um, the finances in order, so they haven't got a mortgage to arrange. Some people haven't even got their property sold at that, at that stage. So um, you've got to be in a buying position um, so that when that property is identified that you can proceed on it. Mm -hmm. um, agents want to be able to back the right client for their, for their vendor. Um, and they will choose the guy that is the most uh, organized. So it really is the difference between losing out on, on that deal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so be, be very prepared and uh, organized. Perfect. So the second, the second question is, um, we are aware, all of us, that London is prime sector and many of the areas are in London are becoming desirable uh, places. So that translates that it's very difficult to find the right property in terms of size, in terms of price, in terms of uh, look, etc. So taking that into account, what would you say a buyer needs to do in order to get his or her or their dream property? Yeah, it's, it's quite a difficult thing to find that right property. Um, you, there are more buyers looking than properties available. Um, Probably the best advice would be to take two weeks off work, and if, if you're able able to do that, I know it's a lot nicer to go and uh, sit in the sun somewhere. But if you're in the marketplace every day, you know, on a Monday, a Tuesday, phone them on a Wednesday, you've got more chance that you'll be there when that new property comes to the to the market, and that's obviously what I'm doing for my clients while they're carrying on with their daily jobs. If you're only looking at websites and uh, doing viewings in evenings or weekends, more or less it's going to take a long while to find that property and it can be quite a, a challenging process and people get despondent and, and then it, generally then it drags on. So you know, if you're quite tenacious and you're there every day, you know, keep looking, that right property is out there, um, there's always another one. Um, yeah, that, that's how you will be able to uh, find the property a lot quicker. So pers per persevere, perseveration. Keep, keep, keep going, yeah. Perfect. So during these uh, 16 years of experience, what is the most common request of clients? Location, area, yeah. look? 16 sector. years, by the way. Not, not 60 years. Yeah, I, I, I haven't been working <laughs> that long. Yeah, The beard's not great just, just yet. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I, I mean, a location obviously is, is a word affiliated with, with people looking for property. That's one element that obviously is, is normally fixed. Mm -hmm. You know, you're looking in a certain area. Um, taking that aside, um, yeah, people always want spacious mm -hmm. places, but that, that's, you know, people have degrees of spacious. Mm -hmm. uh, what, 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 they, what they think, you know, is mm -hmm. someone's 40 square meters is, is a box and someone else is. Uh, is a is a hundred square meters, so you know that's relative, really. 
So yeah, location within a certain price bracket that that would be the, the uh, probably the main point on everyone's brief. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Now, finally, um, we're talking about everything that people should do, and I think that the audience are, are, are clear about that. Now, what is the big no-no? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so a common error, I would say, is um, once that property is found, a lot of people relax. You know, they think they suddenly have the keys, where in, in many ways the hard work commences. Um, the legal process can take eight weeks, can take longer. Um, and if you take your eye off the ball, that's, that's where you might lose out on the property. Um, around one in three properties between under offer and exchange fall through in London. And then obviously once that happens, you've got to start the process again. So, um, you know, I'm there managing this process for the, mm -hmm. the clients to make sure that everything is organized. Uh, the vendor can see that mm -hmm. things are happening, the mm -hmm. surveys happen, the agent's happy just to manage that transaction all the way um, and, until you know it is exchanged and completed and we hand the keys and the bottle of champagne to the, to the client. Fantastic. Um, yeah. No, thank you, thank you, Matthew. So um, thank you all to, to all of you for being here. And if you would like to ask any question to, to Matthew regarding the subject that we have been discussing, on the screen, as usual, you're going to find his contact details or my contact details if you would like to talk about any other subject in particular. So thank you very much uh, for uh, sharing your time with us as well. Uh, and thanks to Linnea Rosé for allowing us to, to share these ideas with yes, you lovely show, really. yeah, from, this, from this beautiful place. And looking forward, hopefully, to see you the next week. And Matthew, thank you very much. That's very thanks, Diego. So yeah. Take care. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.